my cat, my cat. Okay. You know, this is going to be a really short one. Uh, so I was, I was just confused on Twitter. I was angry and confused on Twitter because on my pre-roll ads, I kept on getting these pre-roll ads, even though I had it set to what they described in the help section. They wanted to be, uh, they said 90 seconds of ads over the course of uh, an hour. So I would think that it would be like averaged out. So I would set it to, like ideally I wanted it to be like ads every 40 minutes. And then I would do uh, two minutes per ad. And that shows right up here, three minutes per hour. Or 90 seconds per half hour, which is what they wanted it to be. But what they actually mean is you need to have ads at least every, technically you can get it to 33 minutes. You need to have ads no matter what every 33 minutes to disable pre-roll ads throughout your stream. This is not to mention that they don't tell you anything about this mandatory pre-roll ad here. You cannot, you cannot disable this ever at all in, under any scenario. Even every eight minutes, we have a three-minute ad increasing the delay, setting it to anything. It doesn't matter. That is going to stay there forever. So the best that you can do is because this is quote unquote, this is how long ads manager will wait after the broadcaster starts before starting to run scheduled mid roll. And that means that between the start of the broadcast and the first mid roll, you are required to still have pre roll ads. So I'm quite salty about that verbiage. Um, you cannot disable that. So the best scenario here is, in my mind, the best acceptable one to disable midstream pre-rolls because you are, again, unable to disable this one. You can't disable it in any way, no matter what. Uh, the best thing to do is to put the stream delay, the start delay for mid-rolls to one minute. That means that after that first minute, there will be no pre-roll ads. But unfortunately, after the first minute of every single stream, you are going to get a 1 minute and 30 second mandatory ad. But that's why I have a 10 minute startup buffer on my stream. Um, that'll take care of that. For me, I have a 15 minute startup buffer actually. So, but this is the only way that I see, and you can have, you know, as frequent as you want ads. You can even have a 30 second ad every eight minutes or every 10 minutes, and that would satisfy it as well. So, there's a few combinations in here. Obviously, they're definitely okay with a three minute ad every 10 minutes, but. You can only scoot it up to 33 minutes and then anything else. Again, you have pre-roll ads. Even though over the course of three hours and nine minutes, or, or over the course of two hours, we'll say, you would have 12 minutes or more of advertising. But that still doesn't satisfy their 90 seconds per 30 minutes advertising requirement. But for whatever reason, if we scoot this down to 31 minutes, then it's 2.9 minutes an hour, 
which is less than 90 seconds per half hour. So, they really should work on their verbiage for this, but this is what I'm going to have mine set at. We're going to eat a, a 1 minute and 30 second ad every single stream at the beginning, and then we're going to uh, have mandatory 1 minute pre-roll ads. Even though they say, hold on, if I hover over this, they can be disabled by using mid-roll ad break. So, not this one. But I'm going to save that so I don't forget... Um, but yeah, real quick one here, I just wanted to go over what it means and kind of the options that you have. More frequent, more time is what they want. But I really uh, would like free viewers to be able to watch ad-free as much as possible, personally. But, cool. Any who's would be. Catch you guys on the flip side.